Hi, my name is Michael Rivnack. I recently joined the development team for the Automation Broker, which is sometimes known as the Ansible Service Broker. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to get the broker up and running on plain Kubernetes. Here we're looking at my web browser, and we're just looking at the main GitHub repository for the broker. If we start scrolling down, we hit the contents of the README, and very quickly we get to this section, Getting Started on Kubernetes. You guessed it, that's the section I added this week. There are three prerequisites. So I'm going to assume that you have Minikube itself up and running, and that you also have kubectl installed and available. It's easy to do, there's a link here to the documentation, so just go and do it. Likewise, I assume that you have the Helm binary available, there's a link to install it, and then you need to have cloned this repository. There are a couple of scripts in this repository that you're going to need. Now we get to the fun part. The installation instructions are here in the form of a script. Let's do a quick walkthrough. We start Minikube and we're specifying a version. I did that just because I wanted to run the latest, but it did choose a reasonably recent default. Then we run Helm init, we wait for Helm, we give Tiller, which of course is Helm's service that gets work done inside the cluster, we give it this cluster role binding so that it can get work done. Now we add the repository for the service catalog to Helm. We use Helm to install the service catalog. We wait just a moment longer, and then we run the latest Kubernetes build. You can guess what that script does. Now there are two ways you can go about this. You could copy and paste each of these commands individually, watch them run, read the man page, follow these links to learn more about what they're doing, and carefully examine the results. I encourage you to do that. But what I did was copy and paste this whole thing into a file on my local file system and ran it all in one shot. So let's swap over to the terminal and take a look at what that left us with. Here we are. Now that whole script can take a few minutes to run, so I got it started before I started this recording. And here we see the output. I did just paste it into a file in temp and run it. We see some output at the top from Minikube itself. We see some output from Helm, including this happy helming message. Nice to see a cheerful project. There's some waiting, there's some service catalog stuff, and now we see Helm actually creating resources and installing the service catalog. Then we get down to run latest Kubernetes build. And we see all that, and we're ready to go. We're already working in the namespace for the broker. So we can kubectl get all and see all the resources that are associated with the broker. So it appears to be up and running. Now, when we're running in plain Kubernetes, the best client for us to use at this point is a command line uh, utility that interfaces with the service catalog called svcat. So let's run that now see what brokers it knows about. Sure enough, there's our broker and the status is ready. Now just because I would like to deploy a bundle right now uh, that I know works particularly well in Kubernetes, we need to edit the config of the broker real quick to make it use my organization on GitHub. So we're going to do that. We're editing the config map for the broker. We're going to change the organization to mine. Change the tag to latest, and we're out of there. Now, we need to restart the broker, and we're going to do it my favorite way, which is just to delete the pod, and let it start a new one. So there's a new one up and running, the old one is terminating, so we should be good to go. Now, to tell the service catalog uh, about our changes, we're going to tell it to sync. And it says it successfully fetched the catalog. It happened awfully quick. So quick, in fact, I don't think I believe it. But we'll see what happened. And there are the results that we were expecting. Sometimes I find I have to run this particular command several times before it reflects the updated results. But here we are. We're going to deploy this rocket chat bundle. First, we have to create a namespace in which to deploy rocket chat.
Then we're going to run this provision command. We've given a name, myrc. We have a class that we've chosen. We're using the default plan, and we have a namespace, rc. That's all svcat gives us. It doesn't do much in terms of following progress. So now it's up to us to go look around and see what happened. Maybe you can hear my fan spinning up, so that's a sign that work is happening. There we are. We have a bunch of resources in that namespace, and in fact, both of the pods report that they're ready. So that's great. Now we have just one problem left to solve. We see our services down here, and we see we have a rocket chat service. Since running in Kubernetes, we don't have access to an OpenShift route, and this particular bundle isn't set up to use anything like ingress. So we're going to have to use a bit more of a crude method to make this available for us to access outside the cluster. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to edit this service. We're going to change this type here to node port. And if we scroll back up a touch here, okay, you see that this port has appeared that was not present before. This is the port we're going to use to access this externally. So let's copy that. Now, a shortcut to getting this into the web browser is just run minikube dashboard. This is a fun feature. So here's the Kubernetes dashboard. Just for fun, while we're here, let's take a quick peek in the rocket chat namespace. We can see all those resources, but that's not why we came here. Just toss that port in there, and we already see the theme. Sure enough, there's Rocket Chat. We can register for an account. We're not saving any passwords. We are happy with that port. We're happy with that username. And there we have it. We have Rocket Chat up and running. So that's how easy it is to get the broker up and running in plain Kubernetes, and then we use the SVCAT tool to deploy a bundle in Kubernetes. Thanks for watching.